In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this simple circuit that controls the turning on of LEDs using a what they call photoresistor or a light dependent resistor. So this component here, the photoresistor, can sense how much light is in the room. It's attached to a transistor, which is, you know, transistors are sort of the components of computers and we can turn the transistor on and off depending on the amount of light. So the transistor will act like a switch and turn on and off when the light gets to a certain um, amount. Okay, so this is a night light. So just like you know outside and you've got solar lights that will come on as soon as the um as soon as it gets dark well this is going to do this a similar thing so it's going to as soon as it gets dark um the the it'll switch on it'll turn on the switch or the transistor which will light up the LED. So this is how it works um, in Tinkercad. So I need to start the simulation. Okay, currently it's on. So that means the amount of light is low. So this, if you click on it while it's running, you can see if it's daylight, the LEDs will be off. But as the sun goes down and it gets dark, it gets to a point where the lights will come on. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to build this circuit to uh, do the same thing. Okay, so we need to, um, I'll stop this and then we will start up from afresh how to do it. Okay, so we're starting with a small breadboard. So I want a mini one. The reason is we're going to actually build it um, and we're only going to use these little mini breadboards. Okay, so we firstly want a battery. Well, actually, we won't connect the battery straight away because um, safety-wise, you that'll be the last thing that you connect. Okay, because if you connect anything wrong, you've got a 9-volt battery, you can short-circuit and gets very hot and these things can explode. So we'll put that on last. Um, okay, actually I might um, just connect, I might connect it only because it'll make a bit more sense. So we're gonna use this as a power. So this is any, connecting anywhere here will connect to the power lead on this side. And then we're going to connect the negative lead to this end. So we have this side means we can connect anywhere here and it will connect back to the negative side of the battery. Okay, so, um, but we will add these last when we're building the actual circuit. Okay, I'm just going to start with one LED. And then we can add some later. All right, so I'm just going to put it here. Um, doesn't matter what color you have. All right, we want a transistor. Okay, remember this acts like a switch and it will turn. Uh, it'll turn the LEDs on and off depending on the amount of light. Okay, so, all right, so we've got that. We'll need a, a regular resistor as well. Resistor, okay, bring this across. Now this needs to be 47 kilo ohms. So that's 47,000 ohms. Okay, so it's pretty high resistance. Um, that, you know, that took a while to work out exactly what that had to be so I'm going to just leave that there for the minute I want one of these resistors um, light sensitive resistor or photoresistor so I'll connect this one to the transistor so I'm just going to bend a leg around 
and oops, put it in the wrong spot, move it. Okay, make that grey so I know that's that's actually a leg of the resistor. They come with long legs. Um, and I'm going to attach this one over to here. All right, so it doesn't matter where, but I'll just put it on that one. So that's the other leg. Okay, so I want to connect this resistor to the photoresistor. So I need to have one leg, the left leg in line with this lead here. So I'm going to put it up here. Okay, um, so that is now connected by this leg here. And I also want to connect from this leg here um, over to the middle leg of the transistor. All right, I might make that yellow so we can see it. Okay, so they're all connected here and that's connected to there. Okay, so I need to connect this ground back over to this leg here of the transistor. So I just click on this. I might bend it around here so we can see where it's going. Click here, come up here, and then put it into this hole here. All right, so that's connected to the ground. All right, so it's going from this leg through this wire into here and back here. Okay, now I've got to connect. So I've got the LED connected to here, and I want from this leg of the resistor back to this power rail here. So if I click there, I'll make that red so we can see that's going back into the power this side. All right, and then I want from here, so from the power rail, over to, let's put it in here, just here, which connects to this leg of the LED. Okay, I'll just move this up, get a bit closer. So from this leg here, I'll go, it's hard to see, I might just move this out of the way. So we're connecting from here to here. Let's make that yellow. Okay, so we can see it's connected across to here. Then I'm going to put this back so that this leg, left leg here, connects in that in this line here. Okay, so you can see it behind there. Actually, it doesn't matter if I move it down a little bit, you can see the wire behind there. All right, so um, I'm just going to change this to red so I can see they're all connected back to the power this side. And um, hopefully everything's connected. So I'm just going to run it and see if it's working. All right, so um, it's blown the circuit. Uh, well, it's actually... There's too much current going through, um, but that doesn't matter because I'm going to put in another LED. So let's see how it works. So um, notice um, the LEDs connect around the other way. So at the moment it's dark, so the light is on. So the sun's coming up. So imagine the sun's coming up and that goes out. All right. So, all right. Um, so let's add another LED here and you'll see that that should fix that problem here. So I'm going to put in some different colored LEDs, maybe blue. I'm going to put another one and they're all going in parallel. Okay. Red's fine. I might, I can fit one more. So I'm going to make this one green okay so then I have different colors so run it okay no cell come on and we don't get that warning because um, each of them are using up some of the current so so let's just come back here so it's night notice it's sun 
when there's sun, the LEDs are off. When it gets dark, LEDs are on.